Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in this video series, four part video series, we are going to create this music streaming app for the web. So basically it's a web app for music streaming services, something like a Spotify or uh, tools of that nature. We are going to divide it into four sections and this is going to be first section, so first video in which we are going to create paper wireframes. I'm going to explain the concept further, what we are going to create, how we are going to structure it and so much more. In the next video, we are going to start and bring that paper wireframe in Adobe XD, in which then we are going to create wireframe. Then in the video after that, we are going to adapt that wireframe and create a design. And in the last video of this series, video four, we are going to add some animations to that design and make it sort of a fully fledged prototype, which you can then share with your clients and developers. So as I said, in this first video from this series, we are going to start with paper wireframes. So this is going to be a bit longer video. So grab yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and let's get started. All right, let's now go ahead and get started with our wireframe. And because we are creating this streaming app, we are going to have sections inside of that app and each of these sections is going to do a particular thing. So let me start by creating a quick rectangle. And once again, I'm using just a regular printing paper and regular pen. So what I'm going to do first is create a rectangle and I'm not using ruler. If you're following this channel, you might know that I don't particularly like rulers because I think they slow you down and they limit your creativity because this process is supposed to be quick and fast. So therefore, I don't think that you actually need to use a ruler. And let's divide this into sections. So the section right here on the left is going to be our sidebar. So let me quickly draw that. Once again, it's messy, but I don't really care. This process, as I said multiple times throughout my videos, is just for your creativity to shine and your ideas to just put them on a piece of paper and then decide where to go from there. So what I'm going to do next is, uh, as I said, this is going to be our sidebar. This is going to be our main area. And we are actually going to include one more section at the bottom right here. And this smallest section at the bottom is actually going to be our player. So whatever users click right here at the top and choose a song, podcast, album, whatever, then it will translate right here uh, in terms of playing. So it's going to have some basic commands right here at the bottom. So let's get started right here on the left, as I said, is going to be our sidebar area. So what I'm going to do is include our user. And I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me quickly zoom in just a little bit. Move my paper down like so. So as I said, this is going to be our user and it's going to have a user name right here. Then what we're going to do is include some uh, navigation. So let's do home, browse, albums, artists, playlists, recent, and maybe we can include my music right here. So recent or recently played, whatever, and local files. And what you can also do uh, if you have time is simply include some basic um, icons. So I can do something like this, artists, playlists, and recently played, maybe it can be a clock and local files, simply a document icon. So this is what we end up at the end. Once again, this is going to be our sidebar. It's going to be our main navigational area if you want. And it's going to allow user to quickly glance at all of their information. Next, we are going to move on to this main section. And right here, I'm going to include a search bar. So nice big search bar right here. And inside of a search bar, I can uh, write in something like search for songs, albums, 
artists, etc. Because uh, the key thing to do with these search bars is to actually explain to your users what they can actually search for. So if you just leave the search bar empty, people don't know what they can actually search for. So is it songs, albums, artists, images, uh, videos? What can I actually search for right here? So that's the main um, UX error that I see online. People just put search in three dots at the end and call it a day explain to your users what they can actually search for inside of that search box. Next, we're going to include two icons right here on the right. I'm going to include a notification icon and a settings icon. And they don't have to be perfect and they are not, as you can see right here. This barely resembles a gear, but it's going to do its purpose. And I'm going to actually use it and then change it later inside of Adobe XD. Below that, we're going to write in, for example, recommended like this and artists like that. And sorry about the background noise. Uh, there's nothing really I can do about it. And what I, I'm going to include below are some images. So let me include, let's say four images and see how that looks like. And these are actually going to be our recommended artists. And these artists can be um, either songs or um, uh, some albums, whole albums, or they can be either podcasts or whatever. So we are going to put in a name. So once again, this can be the artist name, podcast name, like so, perhaps even a company name. And below that, we're going to include artist. And artist is actually going to be just a little bit smaller than the name on top, like that, because uh, the name on top is actually what's uh, selling this album, a uh, song, podcast, or whatever, and not the artist itself in some cases. Next, we are going to move on down and write in most popular here. And right here on the right, I'm actually going to divide this section into two smaller sections. And right here on the right, I'm going to include a recently played. So recently played like so, because these can be either songs, albums, uh, podcasts, once again, whatever a uh, user is listening to that they recently played. And it's going to be a nice little addition right here inside of the browse section, because this is what we are actually going to design. And uh, they can quickly glance at what they recently played. So right here on the left for the most popular, let's start by including an image, a smaller image. And we are going to include the name. So actually artist name, perhaps song name, timestamp. So three minutes, 22 seconds, for example, is the length of this uh, song. And then we're going to include a heart icon just so that we can include this to be a favorite, for example. Then right here, we're going to actually include really similar section, but we are going to include an image, then song name on top, artist at the bottom, timestamp right here, and once again, the favorite icon right here on the right. So if I quickly zoom in just a little bit so you can see it a little bit better at what we have created so far. So this is what we have. Once again, we have the name right below the image, right next to the image, sorry. We have the song name, we have the time steps, so how long the song lasts or podcast or whatever. Then we have the favorite icon and right here we have basically the same layout, but because of the spacing, we are going to have song name and artist like this, then timestamp and then finally favorite icon. Let me go ahead and pause this so I can fill in the rest of the information and then come back. Okay, so now that that's completed, as you can see what we have right here is the list. So once again, name, song name, 
duration so timestamp and the favorite icon and right here we have the same layout but song name and artist right on top of each other one last thing we are going to do inside of this wireframe is actually work on this player area so let's say that user has selected this item for example and we can actually mark it with um, either drop shadow or for example a gradient wherever our design style takes us once we actually get to the design part so let's say that this is selected how we are going to present it inside of this player area so what i'm going to do is include the image so basically the same layout right we have right here song name and then artist below like that because like this we are saving some space for the actual real important information which is going to go right here so what i'm actually going to write, uh, design is some shuffle icon like this so users can shuffle between songs so let's see previous play or pause and next like this then we are going to have a loop icon because they can loop the playlist for example if they are listening to it or something like that and then we are going to have the current timestamp so let's say 1 minute 24 seconds like this and then we are going to have the scrubber and the actual song timeline so for example something like this and then finally the overall length of the song itself Finally, what we're going to do is include a favorite icon right here as well. So if they have favorited here, it's going to translate to here. But if they didn't favorite it here, they can click it right here to add it to their favorites. So let me quickly go ahead and color that one in like so. And finally, we are going to include a playlist. So they can either click right here to add it to their playlist or they can click right there to open a playlist with this song still playing and the playlist showing so they can for example click the next song right here from that playlist to continue listening to all of those songs and finally what i'm going to include here is the sound icon so you can adjust how loud or um, how silent you want this to actually be. And that's basically our wireframe completed. Let me quickly zoom out just a little bit. So next we're going to put this inside of Adobe XD. We are going to explore it and turn it into actual usable design. And in the video after that, we are going to actually uh, include some animations. I'm going to show you how you can actually hide this player area and how you can actually show the integration between all of these sections. So these two are going to scroll separately. So we are going to include some scrollable groups and separate scrollable groups. I'm going to show you how you can include various different hover effects and much, much more. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you got some value out of it. If you did, make sure to press that like button. I upload new videos every single week on design passive income techniques, motivation and more. So if you don't want to miss that and miss this series, make sure to subscribe. And once again, if you want, you can check out the Patreon link down in the description below so you can get these files and follow along. And until next time, take care.